Mickey Smith's. Yeah. So I'm going to assume that Skullbuster's kind of like one of the villains you saw from Logan. You know, the guy he has... Oh, uh, okay, hand. yeah, the metal hand dude. Well, yeah, I guess I'd be right. So, uh, Raul says he busts skulls, duh. And that's a great point. Thank <laughs> it's you. A case, it's a case uh, he busts skulls. And Jason said, I found a case of, uh, of this wave about two or three weeks ago at Walmart. Well... We have to say thank you to Hasbro for sending yes. us this complete wave. Now, we did have that up on our Instagram, um, just a picture of the box. And it kind of made me go, you know what? With Porch Pirates today, and you see the words Marvel and X-Men, you're pretty much going to know what that is if yeah. you're a Porch Pirate. So I kind of think that maybe they should start, if they're going to ship boxes to people, they cover that box. Well, they should go with the Elon Musk, instead of it's not a flamethrower, it's, it's, it's not an X-Men wave. Yeah, it's and not an X-Men <laughs> So we've got, uh, we we'll get the Build-A-Figure piece I here. To, I mean, I'm not a giant Caliban fan, but this is a very cool looking figure. Well, I mean, as you're starting to take it apart, the hand is Look at that hand. It's detailed. just great. And look, we've got like, because you can tell he's been augmented. You know, it, we've got all these extra muscles coming yeah, in here. He's ripped. So he's going to be like Hulk size. Well, I mean, even yeah. maybe earlier Marvel Legend Hulk size. Uh oh, we got uh, a porch pirate just. So Matt says a porch pirate just robbed him. First time that ever happened. Lost the diamond select Egon GD2 figure. Oh. Ooh, that's a hurt. That hurts there, Matt. Sorry, Matt. I, again, you know, this is a good fill out and bad guy. Vest and I the, the bullets. Um, you know the gun is what the gun is, but it's got a nice holder and I holster. I really like this alternate head. So when you get to the alternate head, that really kind of reminds me of the head of the. And I'm sure there's somebody that knows the name of the character, um, but there's the guy who basically has tank. Uh, like a tank as oh feet. yeah I remember and that guy and it's just his chest that's what this head reminds me of yeah I'm trying to think who that is too wait, yeah. wait you mean the guy with the um he's the, a reaver and he's but has he a white face with like Spock ears no I no, don't okay, think so that's no because his head looks just like because he's got kind of the the helmet on and he's just got the tracks as his feet so here's the alternate head and I guess this is the maybe without the face paint on yeah. version of That's this character him without his skull being busted yeah it doesn't oh oh oh, oh. come on that's pretty cool oh look at that that's pretty cool look at that so you can take the little plastic dome off at least you can i don't know if you're supposed to and then the mouthpiece does slide down if you wanted to <laughs> get him to talk sorry we broke it hasbro no i don't think we broke it at all because if, if you can put it back oh it snapped there you go so no, he went good. right back into place so I mean, you know i mean for uh for not uh you're gonna go crazy about it and you, you need him to fill out the wave i'm not super angry about this the, my my thing is that i can tell just by touching it these legs feel like a different plastic than this up here. Okay. This feels like a lighter... Well, those are metal leg. legs. You know, well, it's well, got to be different. We're going for texture and feel here over paint because this is all into the sculpt. It's yeah. really cool. It's, it really makes it stand out. I wonder if Forge is going to have something similar on his legs. So we brought Forge yeah, out here a little, a little bit. some of that more the, the pearlescent. Yeah, a again. little bit. Um, so I do, you know, as a figure, I'm always interested when we do these waves if there's somebody who you look at and you're like eh I don't care well, so this is, and then who stands out and going you know that's a really cool figure well, I mean if it uh, of the two in this wave that you don't really want it's obviously going to be Skullbuster and Blink and between the two we'll see unless yeah. Blink really you know knocks me away see, I'm going to say that Skullbuster is the winner see I would say see I read uh, Exile so I thought Blink was a really cool figure to actually okay. finally get and I, I like that even though they she disappeared she went home and then they brought her back and I really like that that character now as far as I love the vest yeah that's what I like about the, the it's more the accessories yeah, to this character we've got some really good details here on his back all kinds of little like clip pouches and stuff. You can't take them out. But then here we have the holster. Now I'm not loving the gun in his hand. No, the gun is very. And it's because we don't have, as you can see, we don't have a trigger finger. Like it's it. Well, it is, but it isn't. See, yeah, it's, it's kind of really kind of. Oh no, we did it. Oh, did you? All right, no, right. Now the gun is better. Now we take it back. Now we take it back. The gun is actually really cool. So I think as a, I think this sadly. For, for Skullbuster, is I think this is a figure that'll probably end up being another Hydra 
soldier or another AIM soldier. Yeah. Because it looks like you could easily accessorize him, change the head out a yeah. little bit, and get some funkiness. But you're still going to do better. Like, he's not a paladin. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know that he's going to be the one that you're going to see everywhere. Well, he may even... Well, it, there's one in a case. So, is he going to disappear right away? He could end up being the pal paladin down the road. Okay. You know, I, I can see him, sadly, we've been at this really long time now, I can see him sitting at Walgreens forever. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and they take those chances. They make those extra different figures, but you almost as, feel as if they should short pack them on purpose so that they become, you know, more sought after and more collectors want them. Yeah, that's cool. Instead of just being the guy who sits on the shelf for the next, you know, well, five, six years. Because sadly, Paladin is going to sit there forever. So here we have, it'd almost be better, um, not this arm, but this arm to have a human hand. Okay. Because we have this humanness of the face. And you kind of think that maybe, I mean, maybe that he went through that much, that he's lost that much of his body. So Philip wants to know, can the vest or the bandolier come off? Yes. Okay. The bandolier can come off. This can come off when I get the head off. And then the vest can come off too. It is not attached. So we do have some really cool, uh, yeah, it, it can totally come off. It can totally come off. So, but this, you know, I'm, I'm winging this right are you, now. Are you thinking that they definitely should sell it with the skull head on? Or oh, yeah. Oh, no. Head? Well, if I'm a kid and I'm actually buying toys. Yeah, you're like, oh, skull breaker. Yeah, and then I kind of want, I mean, this head is vicious. Look at this thing. This head is really, really vicious. Yeah, it's not. It's a good head. So, and the paint, the paint application is really good. You got the brow here. They did not leave that out. And then you've kind of got the, you've got the eyes where you got like, you want to call that crow's feet? Yeah. Where it kind of just comes like where the makeup's cracking by the eyes. It's got a voodoo feel to it. Yeah. I don't even think Brother Voodoo's head was as cool as this. No. And we, we reviewed not. Brother Voodoo a long time ago. So let's, let's put his head back. Um, as you can see, yes, you can take the bandolier off and then you could get the vest off too if you really wanted to. So uh, for kit pashing, I think you could do a lot of cool stuff with him if you were inclined to go that route. Yeah, he's not, he's not a horrible figure to have, you know, in the repertoire. Yeah. 